Okay, my name is Nozim Jali. I'm a toolmaker. I work at a DTEC uh, Plant 6. My name is Mpiwe Shange. I'm a toolmaker at Automold. A toolmaker is a high skilled artisan. Uh, we work with the precision and we work within very small tolerances. The tool maker is the person that actually makes the tools, repairs them, um, maintains them. So you get tool makers who make tools, you get tool makers who make jigs, and then we get tool makers who make die makers. So that's how it, it all depends on, on which industry you're concentrating on. So that's just how it works. It's mostly mechanical technology that is needed. You need to be able to read uh, the engineering drawings. You need to have some in maths. You need to know your basic, like uh, hand tools and tools. Most recently, they have this um, course in colleges called Toolmakers Theory. So before, all you had to do was fitting and machining. So now, if you want to be a toolmaker, it's just strictly toolmaking. You must be a very patient person. <laughs> <laughs> you must be very patient because every day you get different new challenges. I started at college. Then from college then I heard about tool making. Then there was a post and there was, a, I don't know if you know, Tooling Center of Excellency. That's where I started my, my, practi my practicals. I was fortunate enough that after high school, there was an NTIP program for tool makers. It was strictly on tool makers. So I learned a lot there, more especially the basics of tool making per se. It's very hard to explain the day to day because every day is different. I can't, I can't actually pinpoint it out because every day you're not sure what's going to happen. You get different things, you get different breakdowns, so you can't really say my day to day will be like this. I can get to work this morning, maybe a cylinder breaks. I wasn't anticipating that to happen and then something else breaks, then something this needs modification. You can come and have the maintenance on that day with no present on the following day you will have breakdowns all day so you can't say really my day today will be like this. Days differ if I may put it that way they are it's never an easy day they're always challenging but as you grow into the field you actually get used to it. The advice I'd give someone who wants to be a tool maker first and foremost you have to have patience and you have to love it because um, by patience, I mean that, see, when you work with precise measurements, so if you're going to do a job, you need to sometimes check it five times just to make sure that it's sitting uh, in the right direction, in the right way. So that requires a lot of patience. So yeah, you have to be patient and you have to love it. You know, according to the study when we're checking from like 2020 to 2030s, Actually, tool making is picking up about 3%. And it's no longer like in the longer days where the tool maker will have to work on a bench. Now we're getting more advanced, we're getting CNC, we, we've got spike eroding, we're working. So we're getting more and more, and more advanced. So I would say tool making is a way to go. It's not like before where you have to work hard and all. we've got machines doing, making everything for us. Okay, at first, when I started, I was more fascinated about the machining part. You know, when you're looking at a seal, you just look at a dead seal, but as a tool maker, it's like you're bringing life to that seal, because you're taking that seal, you're making it to something that can create components. For me, I love what I do. I love the challenges. So if you're someone who's there by chance, obviously you'll find it hard and difficult and frustrating. But for me, it's always a learning curve. There are a lot of things, a lot of interesting things, but what I can say, it's more very interesting when you take a seal and you make that thing, and that thing start producing components. It's like you're bringing life out of that thing, you know, if I can put it that way. <laughs>